The Planet Dewey 60 BFR boiler is a heat generating unit that can be used singularly or in cascade. Here we demonstrate the fitting of the boiler and the fitting of the gas and heating connections. The use of a hydraulic separator is mandatory. A hydraulic separator, part number 81011528, is available for use with a single boiler. The boiler must be electrically bonded to ground in accordance with the requirements of the authority having jurisdiction, or in the absence of such requirements, the National Electrical Code or the Canadian Electrical Code Part 1. The power supply must be fuse protected, single phase, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Unpack the boiler and confirm that valve pack, flue gasket, and instruction manuals are included. Remove the bolts securing the boiler to the pallet. If the boiler is to be used as a room seal device, remove the air intake guard and fit the gasket supplied. Check the contents of the valve pack. Having selected a suitable boiler position that provides for the correct boiler clearances and suitable flue terminal position, mount the boiler. With assistance, lift the boiler into position. Support the boiler until the securing nuts are fitted. Remove the plastic caps from the valve connections. Be prepared to catch any spillage of residual water which may be left from the factory testing procedure. Ensure a washer is used in all connections. Fit the connection adapters. It is vital that the pressure relief outlet is extended to a safe position. Fit the elbow to the gas connection, not forgetting a washer. Fit the gas cock. Insert the condensate discharge pipe into the drain. Ensure that all the connections are tight and check for leaks when supplies are connected. Only qualified personnel should attempt to fit the chosen flu system. Here we demonstrate the connection of twin pipe 3 inch CPVC system. The installation guide gives details of the permissible flue lengths and component load losses. Other fluing options available are shown in the installation guide. Care must be taken to observe the required clearances and terminal locations. A 5 16th hole is required in the exhaust pipe to allow for the use of a flue gas analyzer. We suggest that the pipe is fitted to the boiler terminal, the position of the hole marked, and the pipe removed and drilled. To ease assembly and avoid displacing the gaskets, apply silicone to the gaskets and the ends of the flue pipes. Remove the cap from the flue analysis test point. Insert the exhaust flue, ensuring that the hole for the flue gas analyzer is aligned with the test point in the terminal. Remove the two screws, securing the front cover. Now remove the front cover. The air inlet adapter can be found inside the boiler. If required, lubricate and fit to the air intake terminal. All semi-boilers are factory set and should not require adjustment. If required, the adjustment procedure is explained in detail in the installation guide. Should the readings obtained not be correct, it is advisable to check that the boiler is installed in accordance with the installation instructions. Check that the boiler is set to operate on the gas being supplied, the integrity of the flue, and the flue seals, and also the integrity of the combustion chamber seals. The following demonstrates the procedure for conducting a flue gas analysis. Turn on the boiler and ensure that it is in heating demand. Allow it to heat up for approximately 10 minutes. Turn on the flue gas analyzer and allow it to zero before inserting the test probe. Turn the heating potentiometer to maximum. Remove the knob. Identify the heating output trimmer B. Turn the trimmer clockwise to maximum. Allow at least 30 seconds for the analyzer to respond to the adjustment. Confirm that the reading is within the acceptable range. For natural gas, the CO2 should be 9.5%, plus or minus 0.3. Now turn the output trimmer B anti-clockwise to its minimum. Allow at least 30 seconds for the analyzer to respond to the adjustment. Confirm that the reading is within the acceptable range. For natural gas, the CO2 should be 9.5%.
plus or minus 0 0.3. Reset the heating output trimmer to the desired output for the installation. For boilers and cascade, this will usually be at the maximum position. Please refer to the installation guide for full details on installation.